Hey everyone, Clara here. Today we're doing a full color commission. And at this point you're probably asking, what the heck am I looking at? A D&D commission that is. Kobold Warlock. Well, I've never drawn a dragon lizard like humanoid before, so here I am. Practicing and feeling out the waters on how things should be placed, how they should look for a kobold. And at this point, our poor boy looks high as a kite. <laughs> Especially when I was given the description. Does not require sleep, but is always very tired. Which, I was happy to get this experience because I definitely need to practice drawing humanoid dragons. For reasons. <clears throat> now, with my warm-up in place, I begin with the piece as requested. He is a lover of books with an endless thirst for knowledge, and with a curse that allows him to never need sleep. He takes advantage of this by always being nose deep in the pages. I've decided to have him leaning on his elbow, one claw trying to pry a lid open as he goes over his tomes of knowledge. The commissioner requested charms on his hat and other symbols displayed throughout the picture, and as this process goes on, you will see them pop up as we go. And as I began to fill in his environment, he also wanted him to be pouring a cup of coffee, but missing the cup entirely. I was bummed I couldn't get his tail in the shot, so I snuck it in by making it pour the coffee, and missing terribly. And as I finished the first rough sketch, the first round of adjustments began. He wants a hat, a big hat, like this. I was actually surprised that this was his only request of change but also very pleased that I got a kobold looking koboldish. He also wanted him to have some crocodile charm, so I did put some of those features into the face. Now it's time for the lovely line art. Enjoy this process and I'll see you in a moment. Hello again, now that that is done, I have decided to do this piece by checking my contrast first and starting in grayscale. You can see in the upper left, this is his request for the, his scale color, a turquoise kobold. I'm actually helping him concept out the little guy in here, so we initially chose red as a complementary color for his eyes, but you'll notice he moved it elsewhere in the piece later on. Now, contrast is usually a weaker area of mine, so starting in grayscale really helps me see pops where they need to be in areas of focus that are important. The new Clip Studio 2.0 color blending is so good, and I cannot get over it. Even in grayscale, it smooths nicely. You'll see it in action really well when I color his hat. The light source is coming in from our right. He wanted a simple background to give the impression he was inside a tavern reading. The grayscale here really helps see that light source coming from the hearth. And of course, prominent eye bags were a must in this piece. Yes, I'm having fun putting the candle reflections in everything. Now that the grayscale and lighting is in, you'll see me begin to add on the color. I hide the highlight and shadow areas so I can use the bucket fill tool to shave off some time. The initial colors will be strikingly bright until I set them to overlay, in which after that they will adopt the darkness of the grayscale accordingly. I believe this is called glazing. It works really well. Now that the flat colors are in place, I can turn the shadows and highlights back on and begin the fun part. Adding color and overpainting. And here is that Clip Studio 2.0 coming in. It creates this really vibrant mixture when you have purple and gold, and really makes the hearth light pop on his hat. 
Now I am rendering in the small details, like reflections and color bouncing where appropriate, and now finally I get to add some depth to his eyes. I at first started to create the bricks by hand. Not a big deal, but of course I started to tilt a bit. And unless he's in an OSHA violation tavern, probably, I wanted them leveled so he feels more grounded in the background. I did this by turning on the grid and sizing the squares and painting in two blocks in sort of a basket pattern. I could have easily copied a few lines and then stacked them, but I really wanted the entire wall to be unquestionably hand rendered. Probably a stubborn me thing. Slapping a gradient on top, it allowed the hearth light to slowly fade out, and then I added support pillars to add a more to the building look. A few more shadows, a few more highlights, and then come the book details, which I've barely played with the liquify tool, even though I know it's really useful for adjusting images. And yes, he is reading a Warlocking for Dummies book. A bit of texture, and he's done. I had a lot of fun with the commission and got some great experience back from it. Needless to say, the recipient is extremely pleased and cannot wait to play the little guy in his D&D campaign. If you'd like to see more art-related content, be sure to like and follow to let me know you enjoyed this. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you around!